Hey everyone, the convergence of technology and the automotive sector presents an intriguing opportunity, as firms such as Apple and Xiaomi are taking audacious steps to reshape the vehicle industry. Xiaomi's foray into the automotive industry was a major move in this direction because of its creative strategy, upending the established automotive market. However, obstacles to Apple's grand intentions for the Apple car emerged, underscoring the difficulties involved in making such a change. But the tale doesn't stop there. Tech behemoths like Google, Apple, and others are now concentrating on services and software for the automotive industry. They want to seamlessly integrate technology into cars, therefore they are using their experience to provide better user experiences. Meanwhile, traditional automakers are not standing idly by. Some were investing heavily in software development to keep pace with tech firms, while others are venturing into the tech realm themselves, challenging the dominance of companies like Google and Apple. Enter Polestar, a name synonymous with innovation in the automotive world. While Polestar has made waves with its cutting-edge cars, it is now venturing into the smartphone market with the Polestar phone. Set to be unveiled officially on April 23rd in China, this smartphone is positioned as the perfect companion for Polestar car owners. The appearance of the Polestar phone reflects the brand's signature minimalistic aesthetic, reminiscent of its sleek automotive appearances. With slim bezels and a modern look, the phone exudes a premium feel, setting it apart from the competition. The collaboration with Meizu, a subsidiary of Geely, ensures a seamless blend of appearance and functionality. Despite its striking appearance, some hardware choices on the Polestar phone have raised eyebrows. The device is rumored to feature a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, 16 gigs of RAM, and a whopping 1 terabyte of storage, making it a powerhouse in terms of performance. The array of cameras, including high-resolution lenses for both front and back, promises impressive photography capabilities. The hands-on video of the Polestar phone has unveiled an interesting aspect that might raise concerns for some users. While the phone boasts impressive appearance and hardware features, such as a powerful processor, ample RAM, and generous storage, there's a notable absence of a secondary speaker. This could potentially result in a mono audio experience, unless Polestar has integrated a secondary speaker into the earpiece at the top of the screen. Despite this minor drawback, the overall appearance and hardware of the Polestar phone are commendable. Its sleek aesthetics and high-end specifications make it a desirable choice, especially for Android enthusiasts. Launching with Android 14 out of the box and running a custom ROM called Polestar OS, the phone is expected to offer a seamless user experience, including compatibility with Android Auto. For Polestar car owners, the Polestar phone presents a compelling proposition as a companion device. While specific details about its integration with Polestar vehicles are yet to be revealed, possibilities include advanced vehicle control features beyond what Android Auto provides. Meizu's expertise in mobile phone integration, demonstrated through FlyMoto, suggests that the Polestar phone could offer deep integration with Polestar cars, potentially through a companion app for remote access to vehicle functions. The official launch of the Polestar phone in China this week will likely showcase its capabilities in detail, including any unique features tailored for Polestar customers. However, details about its pricing remain undisclosed, although given its premium specifications, it's expected to be priced around $1,000 or more. Polestar may also offer bundle deals for car customers, further enhancing the appeal of the phone as a complementary device to Polestar vehicles. Although it's unclear if Polestar plans to release the phone outside of China at first, there are rumors that it might only be available to local customers at first, which would pique consumers' curiosity and build anticipation for a possible worldwide release down the road. All things considered, Polestar's decision to diversify into markets other than autos is audacious given the Polestar phone. It highlights how the automotive and technology sectors are increasingly combining, with businesses breaking new ground and redefining what it means to incorporate technology into daily life. If you have any questions, I'll be waiting for them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and God bless you.